Hey there, sign of cancer. This is Kim. I have um, two cards that came out before the reading got interrupted, and I just want to do it all over again. But um, I don't want you to lose your cards that I feel are pretty important. Dust Devil, um, number 15, having to do with getting, it feels to me like getting unstuck, moving, finally getting unwedged so that you can move. Um, the first breath is the beginner's mind. So it's like there is a new experience. There's this new energy for a brand new beginning. Try to take it and don't um, compare it to every or anything. To, don't compare it to anything in the past, right? All right. So now we are going in. The, they usually say, you know, don't, um, don't, once this comes here, this opportunity comes, don't miss it, basically. The message, Sagittarius was the issue, general uh, messages. This has come out for a few signs, um, kind of scattered throughout the, the month. But so I have five of pentacles being in like um, a situation where you know something is temporary, but is still causing worry. Um, with the five of pentacles, it can be any kind of situation. It can be a budget or not one, not one, that being the issue. It can be about feeling left out in the cold. It can be about worry about a, a physical thing, about a physical thing. I think this is the challenge. Um, it's try, a, a brand new beginning. We're looking at an experience like we've experienced something before. So we are feeling that we can go without. We're feeling lack. And, and so that is experiencing a new adventure, but not through old, but through old eyes, not through new ones, if that makes sense. So start with a beginner's mind. That would be, um, that's the challenge just to see things with a new perspective. Okay, the heart of the matter, the heart of the matter, mm, the moon, trust in yourself, your intuition is trying to give you answers. <clears throat> Use your intuition more. You probably find you can trust it a little bit more or you feel you may feel more in tune with it. With your intuition, with the moon. Um, there's hidden knowledge. There are hidden blessings too that we still um, haven't seen everything. The nine of swords is the past energy, which that might be why we're moving out of stagnation. If we let go of these negative thoughts, that nine of swords, then we can move from whatever position we've gotten ourselves stuck kneeling. See, with our, you know, where our minds distraught, anxious, can't sleep, don't know what to do, feel like you can't do something. Okay, what is the now moment? Finding strength to move through that situation. Finding strength for an ending and to allow an ending. Finding strength to overcome everything that you are faced with to overcome infinitely. Death, rebirth cycle here. So strength Leo card coming up for you. Not a surprise with Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. What's in the near future energy? Or cancer. Six of Swords. I'm wanting to say keep your thoughts positive because I feel like what you're doing is going away from an automatic negative mindset. So you have it, these automatic negative thoughts that we didn't ever really realize were always there. We're realizing they're there. We don't really like them. So how do we turn them off? Well, we just stop feeding them. We stop giving seeds to them. Over, overcoming is what we do best. That's what we end up doing is overcoming um, and moving away from a bad time into a better time. Moving from one place to another. This could be very well be about lack mindset or any kind of worry mindset that something could be lacking. Virgo and the Four of Swords, or the Hermit and the Four of Swords. So the healing that needs to be done is on the inside. Um, you know, whatever whatever you're being seen, it's so that you can take a time out, 
Um, and, and maybe you feel like not arguing, taking time out to heal. And heal yourself from the inside out with the hermit here. Find out um, that that is the best way to heal yourself. Okay, in the environment. In the environment, you're stuck in your head. That's keeping you in your head. Um, trying to control thoughts too much can lead to this Eight of Swords. Like, <laughs> trying to force something not to be thought of ends up with you thinking of it, if you know what I mean. So, clear your mind. Get out of your head. There's so many swords here. It's all in the mind. It's a mindset. What needs to be healed is inside of you. To experience abundance, you must believe in abundance. The emperor here. This is your strategy. All right. Maybe we're not working on a strategy and we maybe need to. With this Eight of Swords, we could be feeling really guilty, feeling like we are supposed to be the one with all the answers, like the Emperor that keeps everything together. But what if it's just still not coming together here? Hope to use your power for love. To you, people that are in power to use it for love. For the outcome... Ace of Swords in the reverse. Six of Pentacles. It's a successful strategy when you um, when you find you need this one bit of information. It feels like you need to do a little bit more research um, and develop your strategy a little bit more because it will lead you to success. Um, and the energy of you give this much, I take this much. Temperance. It's all about divine timing. Having patience. Maybe a reconciliation, but... Just depending on you and your situation. All right. I'm going to get some of these to close your reading off. The Epiphany and the Sacred Signs and Symbols. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, making things fair. That's good. Whoa. All right. Moon. Hidden feelings, secrets, illusions. Also coming right next to Moon. Great changes. Great changes. All truth will be revealed. <laughs> Part truth. And then unrevealed secrets. That's hilarious. It's everything and nothing, I tell you. <laughs> Caught up in the emotions. Soul mirroring, exposing, and revealing all. Devotion is hopelessly devoted to you. Back to the good old times. Gavel, judgment day, final decision. If that's talking about authority, something will be made in love. These scars and wounds run deep. Jeez. All right, Cancer. Let's get you some tea leaves and close this out. Change is going to come. Did I say that one? Change is going to come. All right. Yeah, you probably should have known about that. I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. Tent, temporary situation. Feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. Barrel, something is lacking in your life. You feel either love, money, or goals. Grasshopper, situations in the balance that require careful handling. Maybe with this... Judgment Day or Gavel Deal. Older man. Dealings or relationship with an older man. All right. That's what I got. Sending you light and love. Thanks, guys.